Yo, what's up, family? This is Tim here with Test Automation for Beginners. Beginners course, Test Demi, where we're looking at using Selenium WebDriver with Python to write test automation. So we're going to jump into today's uh, tutorial. Today's short tutorial is going to be a pretty short video. Uh, it's going to uh, cover what's called comments. And we're going to jump right into the code itself. Uh, you guys have been seeing comments for the longest. A lot of the past uh, previous uh, 20 or so videos, you've been seeing us do a lot of comments. We're going to kind of take our time and talk about comments in Python. Now, the reason why you want to have comments is because you want to be able to easily... Uh, let me back up. See, the thing about uh, programming a lot of times is that when you program and you write a lot of uh, code, there's a tendency for you to actually share that code. You never really uh, actually program or write test automation scripts in the silo. A lot of times you're part of a bigger team. And in these particular cases, if somebody else has to read your code or maybe you're part of uh, contributing to a project on GitHub and you want to actually contribute to their code or somebody has to actually contribute to your code, you want to be able to have a way for your code to be readable right because the whole idea behind programming people think programming or writing test automation is all about actually typing and coding or programming not really it's about reading the code so a lot a lot of your time is spent actually reading and trying to debug code than actually writing the actual code or programming language so your ability to actually write very smart clean descriptive comments is actually going to be helpful not only to you in case you come back six months a year later and you want to read your own test automation scripts automation frameworks you wrote or if somebody else has actually have to read that you know good thing is great programmers always comment so i want to encourage you to comment 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 and just don't comment saying oh this is a function people know it's a function if you use the def keyword well I mean, for example if you write a function is actually like we looked at earlier that's actually um going to actually compute computate the uh, prime number of a particular uh, uh, value or something well you want to say this function uh, interprets or uh, computates the prime number a prime number so people can know what your function is doing uh, that's the whole idea now when you're looking at Python Python has two kinds of comments and I've kind of wrote it down here uh, one of the comments here is uh, two types of comments. one of the comments is a single single line comment we can actually use a quote excuse me the hashtag you know just hit the hashtag symbol and that's considered a quote and what happens is the Python interpreter when it's reading your code it actually ignores anything where it sees this hash this hash symbol it just ignores it and it just skips over and it's, again it's just for you it's a lot for communication right it's more for communication purposes so there's a single line comment and there's also the uh, multi-line comment which is this guy here uh, let's go ahead and do it. so it's the multi-line comment so if you just which is pretty cool. If you guys remember doc strings, it was just kind of the same thing. You hit uh, the double quotes. If you hit it three times, it's actually going to make it six. Hit enter. It knows you want to do some comments because the interpreter is pretty smart. And you can say this is for double. Uh, this is the multi, I should say. Mul this is the multi-line comments feature within Python. Right. And again, like I mentioned, Python, the interpreter ignores it. So when it sees either the single line, pardon me, when it sees either the single line or it sees the double, uh, the double line quotes, it's actually just going to, oops, it's just actually going to ignore, ignore it. So you can actually write descriptions on there for not only for yourself or someone else. So that's pretty much it. Uh, comments is pretty simple. Uh, it's straightforward. And if you look at a lot of the, uh, the code we've written in the past, you're going to see I use a lot of comments. Uh, so you guys can understand what I'm doing as far as descriptions and also use uh, comments in your code also. So that's it. I want you to go ahead and write some programs, um, comment your programs, leave it in the comments field below. No pun intended. Right. Uh, so we can go uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at it and uh, make sure that you're actually on the right path. So don't forget to subscribe testdemi.com. If you like the video, uh, feel free to like it. Hit the like button right there and check out testdemi.com for a more free tutorial so i'll see you 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 in the next video peace testdemi.com much love we out see you soon in the next video